and scrape the alloy wheels, Jane. <laughs> Welcome one and all to Bike Racing Without Mercy, on tour and once again in Europe. It's amazing to be back on the continent and this week visiting friends from the community in the Alps. En route, we stopped off briefly overnight in the town of Born, just south of Dijon. The level of excitement is high, so stay tuned for some beautiful alpine exploring on the bicycles with Jane, who clocks up her first ever climb. Well, tonight dinner in the town of Bourne, in the Bordeaux region, and here, the Masseau, a local, well, a local extravagance. That is very nice. Now, I'm not going to ruin tonight's dinner, but as a little FYI, I have made the first 15 minutes of our little, uh, well, our little first holiday meal unnecessarily intense by deciding to dust off my GCSE friend from about 25, is it 25 years ago? More than that, maybe 30 years ago, 31 years ago. Anyway, it was touch and go, but I think we're going to get what we ordered. I'm quietly confident, quietly confident. <laughs> Dessert Envy. Luckily, I have this device here. And look, I can just make these little introductions just there into the dessert. Onwards to the main event, riding racing bikes up superimposing chunks of geology. From the bike I've been struck by the distance and elevation we can cover, providing access to and gratification from the best the countryside and the cities have to offer. Good Bill! <laughs> Jamie, you're right. Good to see you. From Saikulues, perched at the top of the mountain, for Jane we hired an e-bike. A Villier e-mountain bike, which weighs as much as granite, but isn't too shabby at ascending and descends like an anvil strapped to a meteor. Zwift dynamics have nothing on this villain. Last year, when holidaying in Italy, we'd hired a Pinarello Nitro for Jane, but whilst together we'd stuck to the flats. So this time we decided, into the deep end, time to climb the Alp, but also explore the village of Uez, which is located two thirds of the way up the mountain. The beauty of the Alp elegantly transitions around turn seven, Dutch corner, the one with the exquisite church. From here, the cyclist eyes are rewarded with the final layers of switchbacks, draped across the mountain en route to the summit. The village of Uez provides both vistas and intrigue, and here's a clip from the best way known to man and woman to explore, together from the comfort of the saddle. Cycle Uez had fitted their most comfortable throne to the villa, Jane, well, she was appreciative. The chien. The chien. Now, if you enjoy the spectacle of a 46 year old man and his missus narrowly avoiding collision with a shear, please comment, like and subscribe. What a day to be alive and able to share it with Jane. That's the beauty of these e-bikes. 
Naturally, she dropped me immediately and at the bottom of the climb, just before turn 21. But ever merciful, Jane took heed of my desperate plea for clemency and she eased off the gas and kindly agreed to pace me up the iconic Alp at its 21 bend. In the Volvo was Reuben, Reuben de Klerk, and his Mrs. Sifra and their friend Thomas. Much more of them to come, plus Kai, Danique, Robert Twam, Peter, Marco, he of the Dirks, and his heavy metal loving wife, Inga, all to come. In future videos, there's much more to come from the Alps, including a comparison as to which is fastest, an ascent up Alpe d'Huez in real life versus one in our favorite virtual environment. Plus, a simply perfect ascent of the Col de Galibier from La Grave, followed by the rugged Col de Seren, culminating, of course, in the main event, La Marmotte. 175 kilometers and 5,000 meters of climbing over four horse calorie climbs. Kudos to Jane. She, of very little cycling experience, cresting the Alp magnificently. And look who else we have discovered. Yes. Ruben, Hi. he of the Alp d'Huez science, Thomas, and Sifra, <laughs> beautiful to see you all. Ruben's doing the Alp TT on Thursday. I am, yes. And Thomas and Sifra are doing La Marmotte as well. Exactly. And we're all going to have a little explore at the Glandon tomorrow. I'm with Ollie, Bonjour. proprietor of Cycle Louise. Ollie, thank you ever so much. No worries. Twice you've looked after me uh, magnificently. That's what we're here for. And Jane. Best. And Jane loved the Villier electronic bike, the e-bike. Ah, no, no, that's perfect for yeah. what you wanted to do. Sure thing. Yeah. Enabled us to explore together and we really enjoyed that. But yeah. I mean, yeah, if you're looking to hire a bike in this area, the Villiers are magnificent here and you've got new ones coming next year. Yeah, yeah, we've got some top end zero SLs coming in, DI2, fully spectre. Okay, so you heard it here. Get yourself up to Cycle Ace. Cheers, cheers Ollie, appreciate it. Okay. Bon appétit. <laughs> Real treat tonight. We have Ralph and Stephanie Hello. from Basel in Switzerland. Stephanie is riding Alpe d'Huez for the first time tomorrow. Stephanie, yes. very, very best of luck. luck. Thank you. <laughs> and Ralph has just completed the Hort Route Alps. Yeah. Congratulations and, on tonight. That is outstanding. You, thank you. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with the result. Pretty happy with the result. I'll be over the moon with the result. I think even Mr. Paul Hamlet yeah, yeah, would be yeah. happy. Hi, Paul. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> Mr. Paul Hamlet. Yes. Hey, Paul, I miss you on these uh, events. I hope to see you soon again. <laughs>